Well, I was quite honored uh, when the team asked me to do this. Uh, and I'm gonna start off a little bit about uh, the award coming to Oklahoma. It was the first year last year. And uh, as I told you earlier, the president of the State Association of Conservation Districts, I heard it was coming, but I hadn't been in on the uh, part about it coming. And so immediately, as soon as I seen who was uh, in the group that was putting it together, I reached out and I said, hey, uh, the conservation districts need to be a part of the Leopold because conservation, I mean, we, we've got to be a part of it. Well, yeah, you can play a role in that. And, and it, he just kind of pushed me to the side. Of course, I didn't like that very much. So I called the, the next one. And then I called the next one, and when I, I finally got to my buddy, a real good friend of mine at Noble, he said, Jimmy, you just need to be patient. And I said, well, I can't be, because this is so important. The Leopold, the Leopold's coming to Oklahoma. We have to be a part of it. He said, what we've been trying not to tell you is we want to submit your name to be the inaugural. It's like, Wow. Well, you know, you get very emotional, and people in agriculture are, by nature, very humble. And, and a lot of times, we don't want to talk about ourselves or brag, so to speak. And I was like, no, we, there's, there's other guys we can do and, and whatnot. Well, you know, the rest is history, but... I want to talk a little bit about Aldo Leopold. What a visionary, visionary man uh, Aldo was. You know, he, he left us uh, in 1948. But one of the few quotes here I want to use uh, of Aldo is, and it, it pertains today, a thing is right when it tends to preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the bio, biotic community. It is wrong when it tends otherwise. As we drive around and look, we're tending to do otherwise as a whole. And I thought, you know, Aldo could be here today, and it's most appropriate, and it will probably be most appropriate in the future. Conservation is a state of harmony between man and land. Wow. Yeah, but you know what? He also said, harmony with the land is harmony like a friend. You cannot cherish his right hand and chop off his left. So Aldo was so visionary down the road. And what an honor uh, it is to be in the alumni of the Leopold Awards. And I want to tell you how important the Leopold Award is to North Dakota, to South Dakota, to Oklahoma, on and on and on. And I've met several, several Leopold winners already, and I look to meet several more. Because in agriculture, as a whole, we do a very, very poor job of telling our story and our role in taking care of our land. You know, I heard a guy talking the other day about his dad, and, and it was years ago, and I'll just tell you, it was his secretary, Sonny Perdue, was telling me this story. When he came back from college and was working on the farm with his dad, his dad said, you need to go over here to the Smith place, and you need to go over here to the Jones place, and the Burkholder place and put lime on to make sure the boys are putting it on right. Secretary Purdue looked at his dad and said, why aren't we putting lime on our places? Them are all rented places. And he said, my dad looked at me and he said, now son, we got a deed, but all that deed means is we're renting while we're here because we're going to come and we're going to go and that farm's going to be there. We're here to take care of all the farms. So we're just going to do theirs first. Then we'll take care of ours. 
what a great, great attitude towards the land. The Leopold gives us as alumni a very good opportunity to share our story in a little window about what we're doing that we sometimes think we're not doing that much. It's very insignificant. But I learned years ago when my granddad taught me this, he said, money adds up one penny at a time, Jimmy. It doesn't add up 100,000 at a time. If you wait for 100,000 to come along in a chunk to save, you're gonna be waiting a long time. But every day, there's gonna be pennies available. It's the little things that add up to the monstrous things. And as Leopold wanted us to get the word out about conservation and how we preserve and how we run in harmony with one another, it's so important. I believe if we do this more and encourage our children, there is hope. It is possible to be in agriculture. Quit discouraging our kids to not to come back to the farm, not to be involved in conservation and protecting the land. They're our greatest asset. Now, I have a grand, grandson now. My son chose to go to the medical field because years ago, uh, we had a big turnover at the Emmons Family Farms. My granddad was, was killed in a car wreck. Uh, he was up in years. Uh, my dad had cancer at that time. And the following year, we lost my dad. Now, my dad didn't die of cancer. He died from being missed. Radiation poisoning was in the bone. Misdiagnosed the, the radiation treatment. Missed the spot. He died with the blood clot. And my, my son immediately said, I want to make a difference. And so now he's in the medical field treating cancer patients uh, because he cares. But the grandson now has come along, and he's eat up with agriculture. He wears snap, pearl snap shirt, boots, jeans, and he comes to the farm every chance he gets. We love to go fishing together. And when I started showing him earthworms, it's like, Papa, can we dig another one? Can we dig another? Now, we're not going fishing with earthworms. I want to tell you that up front. And he is fascinated by the story of the biology. We have missed that opportunity with lots of our children. But as I said earlier, now, now is the time. And that's part of the Aldo Leopold Award is just to share, to tell your story to make an impact for the future. We're going to come. We're going to go. There's been several civilizations before us that have come and gone because they didn't take care of the land. We like to brag in America about being the greatest nation in the world. And we're destroying it within our own. Let's all become Leopold Award winners. And when we say we're the greatest nation, let's say that because we have the greatest soils in the world that produce the most healthiest, the most vibrant food on the entire planet that our civilizations in the future can say they made a difference because we're still here. And let's not let them talk about the faded civilization that destroyed the richest soils in the world 
in a matter of two or 300 years. Gabe was so right when he talked about, we produce the food. It's the quality. The quantity is not important as the quality for our health. You look at me, I'm overweight. Now, I've lost 40 pounds because now I care where my food comes from and what I eat. But just like last night, we were having a beer, and I'm sure the barley that was grown was not dense rich. It did not have the nutrients in it because my body kept saying, you need more. <laughs> and so, what do I do? I had another one. <laughs> the reason we're overweight as a nation is our bodies are saying we need more. It's the nutrients that we need. It's not the volume, it's the quality. Aldo Leopold would want us to take care of the soil, to take care of the plants, that will take care of the animals, that will take care of us. And if we do that, if we do that, we are the greatest nation on earth. Now's our time. Thanks. <laughs>